Hello. Happy New Year. Pretty soon. Figured I'd get around to doing a little video on this one. I've had it for a little while. Um, yeah, you see it. It's a Cambridge. It's the fourth I've owned of Cambridge. I haven't seen too many of these, so I thought, why not? Cambridge NIV. It's in the calf split, wide margin, red letter. So I'll go ahead and open it up here. I'm trying to be steady here. Black calf split leather. There we go. 978, there's that ISBN. ISBN. So, show you a little bit on the back here. And I'll get it taken out. Alright, so I'm going to kind of jump around here. These ribbons are, are okay. Um, not, not the best, not Beresford, but you get two black ribbons that come down kind of far. Yeah. Anyway, this is um, nine and a half tall by seven and three quarters wide. It's almost squared off, and it's about an inch. Okay. It's an inch, a little under in, an inch and a half thick. So, um, so it's a fairly thin viable uh, for the footprint. Um, Cause kind of, uh, I didn't expect that. That was kind of unique to me. So, hey, touch the phone might help. New international version, holy viable, wide margin edition. Cambridge. And if you're familiar, familiar with their cast split, it's what one would think. So, um, paste down like a vinyl, and it's a paste down. Let me try this. Some calf split leather. This will clear up in a minute. So, there you go. As you can see there, it's got a little tooled line in there. Um, of course, you're going to have, there's a, one of the, well, it's a tail band. And um, I almost thought that the spine was curved, but it's clearly not. It just got this little bubble here. Um, ever, you know, actually ever so slightly. Um, yeah, it's kind of got this goofiness because it's a, still a stiffer leather. And it's, uh, hopefully it'll loosen up. Um, I got this, gosh, a couple months ago at Evangelical Bible. Um, so you can take a look at the gold. Came in pretty good shape. Um, probably a couple months ago. It's one of those things I didn't spend a whole lot of time in NIVs, and for some reason I went and bought the Cambridge Wide Margin. Oh, there's that real pebbly. So, anyway. As I said, it's a red letter. This paper's uh, got that kind of, like, I mean, I say it horribly, but that tint of yellow, uh, whether you want to say antiquated or a cream or whatever, but it's got that, that little, it's definitely not uh, bright white. Um, so with a small font, um, relatively, let's see if it tells me, it's dark enough and bold enough to where um, I can read it. I, I don't mean to keep doing this. I'm just kind of looking and see if it... Eh, it doesn't really tell me. But we'll get into it. So yeah, I'm not too good with... Uh, I mean, there's like a preface and the, the copyright stuff up front. So, the Old Testament. And, you know, you get your... Uh, Two column, center column reference, and now again the camera makes the makes the font look pretty good because it kind of zooms in on it. But um, yeah, it's uh, I don't, it's not even an eight. This is actually probably you get some footnotes at the bottom. Um, like a seven to seven and a half. Yeah, actually it might be only a little bit bigger than the. That might even be the same size as the pit minion for in NAV. 
Yeah, no, it's a larger text than the pit minion. Um, so anyway, that's it. Um, as we page through, you get a little more than half an inch here. I mean, it's kind of weird because they got this leading out. And you get one and a half. There we go. You get one and a half inches on those sides. So that is really nice. I got this clearly to make notes. Um, wasn't planning on doing this, but there's zero sound, but not like Cambridge would have a problem. Um, so, so I said the font is not huge, but it's dark enough and bold enough where I can work with it. And I got this just to make notes. It's not going to be a reader. Um, she had another NIV, but I'm shipping three Bibles to California. Not that I was going to mention that, but I guess I am now. Because um, I know somebody out there who's uh, having a tough time and had his grandma's old Bible. And uh, he got ruined. He's kind of been homeless. and uh, So I know it's important to him, so I'm going to send him. Um, I'll get back to this in a minute. I'm sending him that $12 CBP uh, turquoise, that vinyl one. This is a great text block, but I thought, you know what? you got to have a KJV, so I sent him one of those. I sent him my NIV, so the other end of the spectrum, that's a comfort print, thin line. I don't think I ever did a video on that. Um, then actually I tossed in a, I had a, a smaller uh, Tree of Life uh, thin line, sewn binding, um, brown imitation. I think I did a video on that. Uh, all three of them, a little variety, a little, you know, uh, Messianic family did the Tree of Life, um, the NIV, and then you got the KJV with the, the best text block out of that was the vinyl turquoise. But anyway, then you can, and I put it in a carrying case because I had a, an extra carrying case, like a cloth one that can protect it because that's part of his problem being homeless. Anyway, anyway, so I'm down three as of tomorrow, so I thought I'd do a video here. So yeah, I, I like the margin here. It's, it's, it's okay, but I mean, it's never seems as much on the inside, but it's okay. But I'm, the lighting in my room, yeah, it's definitely an off-white paper. So um, I like it. I like the text block a lot. Um, kind of looking here. And I do this for some reason. I don't know why. It's not like I need to prove it to you, but oh, look, signatures. I just always notice that now. So let me just get a closer look here. Boom. There we go. Touch that screen and make it clear. As you can see, there's ghosting. But in looking at it in real life, um, you know, it's not something that's going to ruin it for me. I'm looking at this font again. Maybe this is like a 7 or 6 point. I know not all fonts are created equally based on their size. Um, anyway, um, page numbers are not at the bottom, they're at the top top inside. And nothing down here, no page numbers. Uh, there we go. So let me, uh, that's who I am. I'll get to the back here. There's a lot of red letter for us. So the red letter is actually quite good in some areas. Most areas, you know, and, there's, and it's pretty consistent. So, um, let me kind of just pan it here. There we go. And I'm going to zoom in to see if we can get better contrast. There we go. Let's see if I can really focus in on that. So, yeah, it, it, Cambridge did a good job on this red letter. It is very nice. Of course, it's not verse by verse. It's, um... You know, paragraph paragraph to column. Um, so if you like red letter, this one's a very a very fair red letter. And I've been paging through it. It's actually again, I don't mean to repeat, but it's very consistent. Alright, so concordance. Revelation, red letter in Revelation, table of weights and measures, and 
introduction to NIV concordance over here, see, there, then you get the concordance. All right, concordance right there, see, that's how much it is. Concordance ends. Then you have an index to notes. So you get these, probably goes right to Z. Hey, look what you got there, line paper. Yep, there's Z. You can kind of see through it. You get a blank paper, then you get two column lined paper and no like, you know, letters or numbers up here either. So 16 sheets, 32 pages of lined paper, it's pretty good. Um, Cambridge Bible Maps, a little bit of an index, and then it gives you the, the map index. It's kind of multicolored here, see? Got the red, green, see? Kind of getting, getting better at this focusing. I mean, kind of, kind of come back, you know, and then go back in, you know? Still in, the, still in the index here with all the coordinates to find things on maps. Oh, by the way, that note paper is thicker than the Bible paper. It's almost like, almost, let me do this again, almost like like regular like notebook paper, like in school, almost. Um, I'm kind of liking these maps here. Or someone else will say they don't like them, but whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like the colors. Looks like hopefully this is throughout that little break in the middle, right? You know, so the maps don't run into the gutter. You know, I'm not counting the maps, sorry. The maps are uh, just different than the Bible paper. But it's not cardstock. It's still a thinner paper. They keep it awfully thin, don't they? Hey, there it is again. All right. Then you get a couple, like, well, kind of cardstock. Vinyl on the back. There's the back, and there's the cap split in the back. So that's my NIV Cambridge, Cambridge NIV wide margin red letter. Eh, kind of like how that I have it. So I'm gonna um, gonna start using this to as a place to take notes and see keep keep seeing if I can give the NIV a, a chance. I've always got another one nearby, you know, New American Standard, KJV. So anyway, this just does not want to focus. I'm, I'm going to win here. Let's see if I can win. No, nope, apparently not. No. There. It's that light wide margin. Anyway, well, you do get like, you can feel it a little bit, but it's kind of like that tooled lines in, in your spine, ridge hubs. I mean, they're... So anyway, well, interesting. Interesting wide margin. Like I said, it's big, but it's relatively thin. Um, what did I say, nine and a half by seven and three quarters or something like that. Um, the gold's nice, you know. It's very good. And, uh, you know, this is going to have to get worked in. I mean, it's, oh, I because I didn't think of it like that, but here. I mean, you guys know, it's, it's you know, it's not like it's stiff or anything. Well, that's, but it's not the floppiest, but. But this is where it's going to be. It's probably right on the table here. There, Focus. So, it kind of opens up here for you. There you go. So, all right, this is over 14 minutes. So, thanks for watching. Looks like a nice one. Good Bible. If you like the NIV, it's another discussion. And that's as far as I'll go. Um, yeah. He said the paper really surprised me. I, I figured being that the calf split or something, I'd be like, eh, it's probably going to be cheaper or something. I don't know. I, I don't know if they even offered this in goat skin. But anyway, thanks for watching.